So, hi, I'm Pam Demore, and I'd like to show you a new product that we have available. It's a, a tape that has numbers on it, and you make perfect knife pleat trim with it, or knife pleat inserts. And knife pleat is called that that because all the folds go in the same direction, sort of like knives in the drawer if they were organized, but not mine. So right here I have in the center of this pillow, um, it's just pleats that are just all going in the same direction. Those are knife pleats, and these are one inch pleats. On the edge of this pillow I have a knife pleated trim, and that's done a two inch wide trim. And I know with the black it's probably hard to see it on the camera, so I'm going to show you at the sewing machine with a different color fabric. I've got some trim that I sort of made up ahead of time with each size. This is the one inch knife pleat. Then I have the two inch. And I have the three inch. So let me show you how I do that. I've got the tape on my fabric. And what I'm going to do is I look for the if I'm doing one inch, I look for a gap that's twice the size of my pleat. So I take this number one and fold it up to this number one. And I'm going to stitch it down in place. And then I'm going to take this number one and fold it up to this number one. So the number ones that are only one inch apart are my faces, and the ones that are two inches apart are my pleats. So I'm going to pull this up. And this tape can be reused over and over again. Um, it depends on how much fiber is on the fabric, but if you have a fabric that doesn't have a lot of fiber like this uh, cotton, you can probably use it between maybe eight and ten times. And fold and sew, and fold and sew. No measuring needed. This is a full knife weight, so it's three times full. So whatever you have for finish length, desired finish length of your pleated area, just take that times three. If you're cutting it on the bias, <clears throat> you could use our continuous bias guide, and that would give you the math formula for calculating it. So let me just show you that, and there is the one inch trim, and I'll show you the back side. It probably shows it better because the print's a little busy. I've got one inches. Now to do two inch, basically it's the same way. We look for a, a two inch gap, the two that are the four inches apart, the bigger gap, and we're going to fold this up to here. And the directions do come with the packaging, two inches up to here. And then two inches up to here, and I'm out of fabric. And again, you can see three inches, or two inches, I'm sorry. And now to do the three inch, it would be the same way, except we would take the number three and fold that up to the three, three, fold up to the three, and then we get our three inch pleats. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoy your pleat tape, making perfect pleated trim. You can use this to make um, window treatments, you can use it for bed skirts, you can use it on your slip covers, you can use it in your garments, to, on the bottom of a skirt or the bottom of a jacket. So there's a lot of great ways that you can use this tape. Enjoy it. Thank you.